We're going to start just checking in with posture for our Pilates session. All right, so you want to stand feet hip distance apart. So just take this time just to just to tune into some good posture. That starts from the floor. Spread the toes. Be active in your feet. Okay, so lift the inner arches. Feel the, the edges of the feet all pressing into the floor. Feel your thighs strong. Okay, and then feel that engagement through your core muscles. So that analogy of a lift going up through the center of your body. And if I had 10 floors, we're going to go to the third floor of the 10. And just feel the belt that you're drawing tight in. And if I had 10 holes on the belt, on the belt, belt you're going to take it to the third hole on the belt. Okay, so we brace through your center. And taking the hands to the lower ribs, relaxing the neck and the shoulders, we take some breath. We breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. So you're just centering yourself, finding some breath and feeling that breath into the rib cage. Start to move, rocking back and forth, swinging the arms. In breath up and exhale down. So nice and slow, so that you get that balance at the top, okay? Reaching up. So we do everything with control. We do everything with precision. We try to flow through a practice, okay? And it's led by your breath and that engagement through pelvic floor and deep abdominals. Okay, so it's a mindful practice. And then working with your body right now, Wednesday morning, week eight, lockdown. So we're going to start bending the knees. So send the hips back and bring the hands down. Reach up, the hips go back and reach up, the hips go back. The knees stay aligned with the feet. The neck stays long. In breath at the top and just gradually. Build up that range to build some heat in the body. Do one more, rise onto the toes and stretch up. See if you can find that balance. Come back through the heels, turn to your right and then sweep the arms around. In breath at the top, come back the other way. So we're just working here to articulate the spine. Soften the knees as you sweep around. Relax the neck, relax the shoulders. In breath at the top. Exhale to sweep, but keep braced in your center. And let's do one more. And then come down. And just take the shoulders up towards the ears, bring them back, down and round. So just loosen off through the shoulder girdle. And then take the hands to the hips and take the feet out so that they are, the toes are out, okay? And just take it into a squat there. So a wide leg squat now. And just find that range for you. Okay, be mindful to keep pelvic floor engaged and squeeze the glutes as you come up. Deep abdominals engaged. Knees directly above feet. And you're just going to a range that feels good for you. So we'll gradually increase that range. And then the next time we go down, just hold it. And then just gently pulse. So a little bit more focus there. And then come up and tuck the toes in and reach the arms out. On an in-breath, you're going to twist. And on the other breath, you're going to reach. You come up, inhale, exhale, reach down. Use that breath. Reach your back hand away. See how much range you can get in the body. In-breath, twist. And exhale, reach. So this is the standing version of the saw. Uh, last one. 
and then come up and turning your foot that'll be your right foot knee above ankle all right and then just rest the elbow down and you just sweep the arm up and round just to work into the shoulders for a moment changing direction and then sweep up and bring the hand down to the floor bring the back heel up so you can either be in this position with the leg long or take your knee to the floor and reach up with the opposite hand okay come up come back round have your feet nice and wide and then just go side to side Chest is lifted, working through the inner thigh muscles there a little bit. And then come up. And then we'll turn the other foot and then bend the knee. And then once again, just work into the shoulders. Keep the body nice and still. Change direction. Sweep that hand down to the floor. And then straighten the back leg or take the knee to the floor and reach up to the ceiling. Get a bit of rotation there. And release. And roll up. So we're going to come back to where we started, feet hip distance apart. Um, we'll just do a little bit of balance challenge to so make sure you've got room. So we're standing with the feet hip distance apart. And we're just going to raise the right leg up. And then come back down. And then raise the left leg up. And then come back down. So try and take the arms up at the same time. Up into that knee fold position. Working into the hips. Pushing through the floor on that standing leg. And the next time we come up, hold it up there. And then as you bring the arms down, try to extend the leg. Come back up. And again, extend the leg and come back up so we're staying on that one leg if we can core engage last one and try and hold it out there and then come back down standing leg strong other leg comes up extend that leg on the out breath then breath back exhale away in breath arms come up exhale arms come down leg extends in breath up and then we try and hold it and then come back down. Okay, good. So another little bit of balance. We'll just try that single leg deadlift position. So what I want you to do is just to bend the left leg and take the right foot back. Okay, so that you're on the ball of the foot. All right, but then you're just going to let the arms hang. And then you're just going to lift that back leg off the floor. And then you're going to start lifting a little higher. And then you're going to start reaching down. And maybe taking the hands to the floor. And maybe when you're on the floor, trying to straighten up through the standing leg and reach the back leg away further. Now you soften the knee again, stay strong. And then try coming back up. Okay, so a bit of a challenge there. And core engaged, thinking about where you're focusing that gaze. Now, left leg goes back. Bend the right knee. Okay, then just slowly lifting the left leg off the floor and just tracking the hands down as you hinge from the hips. Keep your belly strong. And if you can, you're going to work to the floor with the hands. And then maybe try to straighten that leg and lift the back leg so you get a stretch. Bending the front knee again. And slowly coming up and release it and give it a little shake off. All right, good. So we'll come to the back of the mat. Feet hit distance apart. And then this time what I want you to do is we're just going to take it into a squat, okay? And feet are hip distance and we're going to reach the arms up and we're going to send the hips back. So think about the hips going back. So we reach and we come back. And reach through just a little bit working into the thighs here. 
glutes, and getting some strength going in those legs. Reach. So think about the hips going back. Go as deep into that as feels good for you. Okay, chest stays lifted on reach to the ceiling. Knees directly above feet. Come up, stand tall, stand strong. On the next one, try and come up onto your toes so you get a calf raise and stand tall and reach and stand tall. Maybe making some fists to add a little bit of tension. Okay, as we come up, we try to come to that calf raise. We do one more and then stand tall at the back of your mat. All right, nice. So rolling down to work towards the floor, we bring the chin to the chest. And from here, we start rolling down from the neck, from the shoulders, from the upper back. And then we let the arms hang. And then we're just gonna sweep those arms back and forth, just loosening off, pulling the belly in, obviously softening knees where you need. Okay, place the hands either on the legs, they can be down low, or they could be by the thighs, or they could be resting on the floor as you bend the knees one at a time. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. I'm gonna bend the right leg and straighten the left and reach the left arm up to the ceiling. That lifts, left sit bone lifting up. Bending your left leg now. And the other side. Have you got better rotation on one side than the other? Tuck the chin, roll back up. This time, rise up onto your toes, reach your arms up. So as we did at the beginning, stretch the fingers, find balance, work into the calves. Come down through your heels, chin through to your chest, rolling over an imaginary barrel now. Big stretch through the back of the body, separating the vertebrae, walk your hands now out and into a downward facing dog. We're going to pedal your heels up and down. Just going to draw your abdominals in and lift the hips high and push the floor away. On the in breath, come to a high heel down dog and on the out breath, come to heels down if you can. In breath up. Exhale down. In breath up. And exhale down. Push the floor away. Okay, so now a little bit more strength. So we've got to shift the weight forward to high plank. Push the floor away. Abs are strong. You've got your chest and your shoulders aligned. Come back. Down dog. Draw the abdominals in. Shift back to your high plank. Take some breath. Now bring the knee, right knee slowly through, and then the left knee slowly through. Keep the hips steady, really slow. Push the floor away. One more on each leg. And if you can, push back to down dog. If not, come to child's posture. Take some breath there. Keep pushing the floor away and opening up. Come down to those knees now. Stretch it back to child's posture. And then just roll up to high kneeling and reach the arms out. So as we go to a thigh stretch, we're going to cross the arms. And then we come back. Inhale. Cross the arms the other way. Exhale. With your thigh stretch, remembering that you are keeping the hips pushing forwards and you're keeping a strong line from your shoulders to your hips to your knees. Okay. Don't just dip your bum down to your heels. So we're keeping everything switched on, straight line all the way. Abs are strong. You go back into that as deep as feels good for you. Crossing the arms, breathing. 
two more. Pelvic floor deep abs, don't forget those. And then I'd like you to just take your hands wide on the mat. All right, and then take your head over your hands. So your chest and your shoulders are aligned. Send your knees back, pull your belly in. So you're either going to be in this position for press up or heels can be up and legs crossed or off the floor. In breath down as deep as feels okay for you. Exhale, push. Neck is long. In breath down. Exhale, push. In breath down. Exhale, push. In breath down. Exhale, push. Keep that head well over the hands. Okay, pull the abdominals in. Keep everything switched on and we'll do one more. And then push back into child's posture, breathing. Whilst you're in your child's posture, walk your hands round to your right side. Okay, and just feel that stretch down through the side of your spine. Walking round to the other side. And breathe. Rise back up onto your knees. Now stretch the arms out. Now lift the arms up if that feels okay. And then exhale, go back to your thigh stretch. And then take your right hand and reach it away. Come back forwards and lift. Inhale. Come back to thigh stretch with the arms stretching out. Now take the left arm back. Follow that hand as you reach your right hand away. Ah. So we go to thigh stretch and then we add this rotation. Okay. Exhale, we go back as deep into that as we can. We stretch the fingers apart. So we stretch that wingspan away. Okay, you want to take an in-breath to lift, an exhale to thigh stretch, an in-breath to reach. Exhale, forward, inhale, lift. Work with that breath. Keep your pelvic floor muscles engaged, your deep abdominals engaged. Keep your neck relaxed. We're going to do one more. And then we're going to come back to wide hands on the mat and chest over the, uh, in line with the shoulders, the head well over the hand. Okay, push the floor away. Maybe the knees are back, maybe the heels are up, maybe the knees are off the floor. Down to press up in breath. Exhale, push. Okay, abs are strong, thighs are strong. Try not to let the hips dip. Okay, in breath down. Keep that chest in line with your shoulders. Keep the head well over the hands. Take an in breath to lower and exhale to push. Keep your core switched on. Last one. Push back into your child's posture and take some breath. So if we just rest down on those forearms, you can interlace fingers if you want, or you just have your palms down. So we step back and we hold that position. We're going to tap the knees lightly down. So we're either going to be in this position, low plank, keeping the hips steady, or we have the knees down, and we stretch away. Work with your body. Breathe. Abs are strong. Relax your neck. Keep the pelvis nice and steady. And see if you can hold that low plank, either on the knees or knees off the floor. And then come down and stretch it back. Take some breath. Just rise up onto your knees and step your right leg forward. Okay, quite far forward on the mat. 
and then just back and forth, working into the hips. So just a bit of mobilizing there until we go forwards and sink down. So feel that stretch into the hip flexor. So the knee of the back leg is further back than the hip. Okay. And if it feels okay, lift your hands up, reach up, and feel the sinking deeper into the back leg. Lift the arms. Now straightening the front leg and reach down. To the hands, where can they go? Are they going to go down the leg or are they going to go to the floor? And if they're on the floor, are they going to work further from the leg or are they going to work further? Try to keep your toes up, your heels away. You're going to feel that opening up through the back of the leg and breathe. So let's draw that foot back and we'll come back to the side in a sec. So come towards the front of the mat. Don't worry, we're not going to get another set of press ups. All right, hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips, arms are strong. The right leg's going to go back. Okay, we're going to thread the left arm on the out breath. So head goes down and hips go high. And on the in breath, we're going to reach up. If you want to, as you thread through, you lift your right leg. And as you reach up, you lower it. So up to you. Whatever you're doing, as we said at the start, we're doing the movement with precision, with control. Okay, and we're trying to flow through these movements. All these are principles of our Pilates practice. And like all of this stuff, conditioning work, it is a practice. We do one more. And then we release, and we can stretch your back, child's posture. Take some breath into your back. And when you're ready, rise up onto those knees and now step your left leg forward. And as we did before, just go back and forth, just finding a range for you. Make sure that that back knee is comfortable. and then sink down. So we want to send that left knee away, further back than the hips. Okay, and we're sinking down, feeling that stretch through the hip flexors on that right side. And then we're going to lift the arms up if that feels okay. So as you lift the chest, reach the arms, maybe looking up, you're sinking a bit deeper. Then we're going to straighten the front leg and reach down. Okay, feeling that stretch into the hamstrings, maybe the hands to the floor. Listen to your body. Breathe. And release. All right, nice. Let's come back to forearms. Okay. And once again, take the feet back. Draw the abdominals in. Okay. So from here, we're either going to have knees off the floor or we can have knees down on the floor. And we're going to lift one leg, okay? And we're going to hold it, stretch the heel away. Come back. We're going to lift and hold and come back. We're going to lift and hold and come back. We're going to lift and hold and come back. And this next one, can we lift and hold? And then just pulse, tapping the toe down. Okay, remember that other knee can stay on the floor. We're going to swap legs. So to lift and tap the toe. Abs are strong. Remember the, the right knee can stay down. And then rest back. Child's posture, take some breath. Breathe into ribs. And when you're ready, walk your hands towards the front of the mat again. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, belly strong. So this time we're going to take the left leg back. Belly strong, thigh strong, heel pushing away. Thread your right arm as you drop your head and lift your hips. Right through, and then in breath, open up. If you want to, 
lift the left leg as you lower, and as you lower the left leg, inhale and reach up. So again, slow and controlled with the breath guiding you. Exhale through and inhale up. Exhale through and inhale up. Let's do one more. And then release. Take your knees a little bit wider and stretch it back into your child's posture. Take some breath. And then from there, let's just come down onto our fronts. Okay, and bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Draw the elbows tight in. Stretch the toes away from the crown of the head. Pull the abdominals in and lift the chin and the chest. And then come up. Don't try to straighten the arms. Just think about lengthening through the front of the body. Come back down. So we lift the nose, the chin, the chest in that order. And then we try to send the breastbone forwards, lengthening the front of the body and breathing. And again, nose, chin, chest, come up. And then on this next one, let's take the hands up first. Look up, stay up, squeeze the shoulder blades, press the hands down and lift. You can get a bit more range. Keep everything switched on. Pelvic floor deep out. Lift the hands, lift the chest. Place the hands down and lift. And then come down. Okay, we're going to stretch those arms out to the side. Turn the head to the side and just take a, take a breather there. So now, as we lift the arms, try lifting the feet and look down. Bring those hands back. Inhale. Exhale, sweep them forward. Inhale, draw them back. Exhale, sweep them forward. Inhale, draw them back. As you sweep forwards, relax the neck. As you come back, lift the chest. Try to get as much range into your body as you can. Exhale forwards. And inhale back. Next time you come forwards, let's hold it there. From there, reaching out, try kicking the legs and working the arms up and down into a swim. Breathe. For five, four, three, two, and one. And take some rest there. Kick your right heel up, reach round, and reach for that foot. If you're struggling with that one, roll onto your side. You should find it a little bit easier to get hold of the foot. Try and draw the knees together. Pull that heel up. Keep the hips down. Swap legs. Reach for your foot. Pull your knees together. Breathe. And if it feels okay, you can go for both legs at the same time. If you're not liking that, do one at a time. And then lift the chest, press the feet into the hands, maybe try and lift the knees, squeeze the shoulder blades, maybe rock and roll. And then release. And then push back into child's posture. Lengthening back out. Take some breath into your back, and then we are going to come around to sitting on the floor. Okay, so from here we're going to bring the hips up 
towards your heels. And we're going to get setting up for rolling like a ball. So we're going to tuck in, try and take the feet off the floor. So we're going to try and roll like a ball in this position. Or if that feels too much, you take your hands by your side. Then you roll back, exhale, and inhale up. Wherever you're at, try and keep the heels closer to your bum. Try to keep your head tucked in. Exhale back. Try not to use those heels to kick away. Keep the body nice and tight. Last one. See if you can come up and hold it. See if you can split the knees apart and reach for the ankles. So you're either going to be sitting on the sit bones with the heels off the floor or the heels can be down, okay? And then we try and extend one leg. And then come back and try and extend the other leg. Come back and again, breathe out as you extend. Keep the chest lifted, keep the belly strong. So you've got this balance challenge as well if you're doing that. You want more challenge? Try both together. And if you're able to hold that, do that. Otherwise, stick with the one leg at a time. And if you're holding that, maybe if you've got room, you're going to roll back and you roll up. You roll back and you roll up. You roll back and up. Didn't make it that time. And up. Cross the legs. If that feels okay for you. And just reach forwards with the hands to stretch the hips and breathe. Come back up. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Take your right hand behind your back and twist. Remember to breathe. Swap hands, right hand to the left leg, left hand behind. And, and come back to lie on your back and hug your knees to your chest. Take some breath there into your spine, into your ribcage. And draw your head up to your knees. We're going to do a single leg stretch. So the left leg goes long and the right knee, we tuck in as tight as we can, as if we're taking it to the ear. And we change. So we keep the body still. If your head is straight, neck is straining, the head back and tap out to the knees. If you're able to, you stay curled up. So remember to stay curled up all the way. Long leg and into deep hip flexion with the opposite leg. Breathe, 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 and hug your knees in. Take your head side to side to release your neck. So, we're just going to go through a bit of an abdominal series here. So, we're going to now take it to a double leg stretch. So we're going to take the hands down towards the feet, tuck in nice and tight on the in-breath, reach, out-breath, sweep and tuck, in-breath, reach, out-breath, sweep, tuck. Use that breath. Try not to flare up through your ribs. If that neck is straining, take the hands behind the head. Just do the leg action, which in itself is hard enough. Last one. And hug the knees in again. Head side to side. Release the neck. Okay. We're going to curl the head up. This time, though, Take the head into the hands, keep the elbows wide, stretch the legs as straight as you can, and lower right leg down. Come back. On the in-breath, take the heel down of the left leg, bring the toes back on the out. Heels down, toes back. In-breath down. Keep curled up if you can. If you want more challenge, both legs together. 
arms pull in. Now it's an in breath down with the heels, and it's an exhale back with the toes. Last one. And hug those knees. As you're there, just take the knees out and round. That'll help to release the hips and relax the abdominals. Change direction. Okay, we hug in again. And like we were doing the single leg stretch, we take the left leg low. But now we take the right leg up and Walk the hands up the leg and we pull in as you reach your way with the left leg change. So you want sharp out breath as you bring the leg and the nose together, near nose. Reach, reach, reach. Try to stay curled up. Keep those thighs strong. Keep the body still. You should be really feeling this work on your abdominals and rest. Take some breath. Keep the chin tucked so there's length through the back of the neck. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. So we'll do one more. This time, curl the head up, head into hands, elbows wide, left leg long. Twist to loop to that right elbow and focus on keeping the chest open, change. It's an out breath as you twist in breath to prepare. So working the obliques really try to get as much twist into that middle spine as you can. Working the side of your abdominal wall. Last few reps. Three, two, one. And hug your knees in. And take some breath. Just stretch the body out now. Reach the fingertips away from the toes. Breathe. Walk those feet back in. And hug the knees in. So bring your heels tight in towards your sit bones. Okay, feet hip distance. So we're just gonna lengthen back out through the abdominals. We're gonna come up to a shoulder bridge, lifting the hips, squeezing the inner thighs. So as if you're holding something between your knees. Okay. So try to, if it's okay, to work the hands a little bit further down. Lifting the hips, squeezing in the thighs. So more of a back bend to open the front of your body. Okay, and work those back extensors. If you can, you reach for those ankles. You lift, squeezing the other thighs. If that feels too much, interlace your fingers. Now open the chest. Breathe. Keep strong in the pelvis, the inner thigh squeezing. Breathe. Release, and then come back, and hug the knees in. Take some breath there. So we're gonna straighten this left leg, okay? Push the heel away, all right? Keep the left hand on that left hip to start with. Try raising the right leg up, and then just take your right elbow and rest it down on the floor, and have your palm on the outside of your thigh. Now take your left hand out to the side. And as you take your right leg out to the side, loop over to the left hand. To keep the energy going to the left side. Breathe. Keep the left leg active, really strong. How far can you take the right leg away? Remember to bend the knees where you need on this. Come back. Now take your left hand to the outside of that right leg. And then go to the other side, taking your right hand away. And keep wrapping the left leg in. So once you don't collapse to your uh, right side now, or your left side, sorry. Left and right is too much in this one. I think you know what's going on though. 
come back center, release the right leg and stretch it down on the floor, pushing the heel away as if you're standing on it. Bring your left knee into your chest. Stretch that leg up to the ceiling. Take your left hand to the outside of this left thigh with your elbow on the floor, okay? So you're supporting the leg and your right hand out to the side, palm up. As you lower your left leg down, you look to your uh, right hand, okay? And you keep your right leg strong. Then you breathe. Don't switch off through your center. Come back to the center, bring this right hand up to the outside of your left leg. And go to your right as you stretch your left hand away and you look to that hand. We either try to keep the leg straight or we can bend the knee. Okay. This helps to release the back. Come back to the center. And hug your knees in. And roll up. So we're going to sweep around to hands under shoulders and knees underneath your hips. Okay, we're going to pull the belly in, spread the fingers, look up, inhale. As you look up, send the tailbone away and then tuck the tailbone under, rounding the back and in, in the shoulders. In breath, away. And exhale, tuck. And in breath, away. And exhale, tuck. And in breath, away. And exhale, tuck. And release. Take your hands to the front of the mat, tuck your toes. Push up to down dog. Pull your belly in, head on your heels up and down. So lengthen the back out. Gradually start bringing your hands towards your feet. Tuck your head in and do that reverse. Well, there's a roll up now. And we stack your spine. So come back to where you began, feet hip distance apart. Standing nice and tall. Let's just reach up with your right arm. Take a nice deep in breath. Your left hand's down your thigh. Track it down your thigh and reach over. And then come up. Inhale. Other hand. Track the other hand down. And over. Side bend. And release. Now take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Stretch. Soften your knees, drop the torso down, tuck the head in. Now try straightening the legs and reaching the arms further. Breathe. Soften those knees and come back up. Shoulders round, shaking the hands and the legs. Whew. And we're going to finish. All right. Thanks very much.